In this session, we want to take a look at managing files and folders. We'll be creating files and folders, copying files and folders, giving file and folder permission, and scanning documents. In this session, we want to access a Windows 10 TechNet server, and we're going to be looking at managing files and folders. We want to click on Windows here. You're going to expand Windows, expand Windows a second time, and we're going to click on Windows 10. We want to scroll down the screen a bit and find the machine we want. And the machine we want here is Teacher Try It Out. So you want to select that machine. Windows 10 Teachers Try It Out. You click and select the machine. Click on Get Started. And you want to launch the lab. And you need to wait until your lab environment has completed. And that can take a few minutes. While we wait, when you want to practice any of the things that we do in this course, this is a good machine to practice for your desktop management, Windows 10. After you've completed your lab, always remember to exit the lab. Okay, we are onto the lab. And what we want to do is collapse the pin here. And it collapse the right side by clicking on the pin, say on pin, so that we have the full screen. Next, you want to click on the desktop and you want to access the login by typing the password. Just make sure your cursor is in the password box. And we're going to type the password. You can find that password in your lab instructions for this lab. And now that we're in, we want to begin by creating folders on the desktop. Before you begin here for the network, you want to click yes. In answer to do you want to allow your PC to be discovered by other PCs and devices on this network? Now we want to create two folders on the desktop. The first folder we're going to give the name finance and the second folder we're going to give the name sales. So we're going to right click on the desktop, click on new, and then click on folder. You're going to type the folder name finance. Then we're going to create a second folder and call it sales. Now you can create the folder anywhere, it doesn't have to be on the desktop. You can create the folder on the C drive or in another folder. Sales is the name that we're going to give to the second folder. What we want to do is to create a document within that finance folder. And we're going to call the document sales target. So we're going to double click and open the finance folder. Then we're going to right click in the finance folder 
are going to say new Microsoft Word document. We're going to wait for the document to load. And then we have to give the name for the document. We're going to call it Sales Target. Once we have given that document a name, you want to double click on the document and open it. Word is opening. We don't want to activate Office, so we're going to here close that activation box. And now we can type. Before we type, we need to accept this message here. First things first. So we're going to click on Accept. And then we're going to type what we need for this document. We're going to type the sentence, we are well on our way to meeting the target for this month. So we are well on our way to meeting the target for this month. Now we want to click on File and Save because we already gave the document a name. Now we want to close this Word document. So we click on the X to close the document. And we want to close the folder. What we want to do now is to move that document from the Finance folder to the Sales folder. And we can do that two ways. We can drag and drop the document from the finance into the sales, or we can copy that document from the finance folder to the sales. We're going to copy. So we're going to open the finance folder by double clicking on it. Right click the document, click on copy, close the finance dialog box. Open the sales dialog box, right click and paste. Now there are many different ways that we can do this. We can, we can simply pull the file right on top of the sales folder and the file would have gone in the sales folder. We want to take a look at permission. We're going to go to the sales folder and we're going to give a user permission to use this folder. And the permission that we want to give that user is the permission to delete the folder and to delete what's inside of the folder. So we want to right click on the folder and we're going to click on properties. We want to click on the security tab here. And you can see that right now, the only people who have permission to that folder would be the default users, which would be the administrators and the system. So we want to click on edit. And then you want to click on add. We want to find that user mark. And again, if you know the user's name, you could simply type it in the enter the object name box here and click on OK. But we're going to find it. So I'm going to click on Advanced, click on Find Now, and we're going to search for Mark. We're going to scroll down. And here he is, Mark. So we're going to click on Mark. Click OK twice, once, twice, and we see that mark name is listed here, which means he has permission to the folder. If you look at the permissions, by default, 
Mark has read and execute, list folder contents, and read. This means that Mark will be able to read data in the folder, he'll be able to execute or run any exe files, and he will be able to list any contents within the folder, meaning if they're nested folders, he'll be able to double click those folders and see what's inside. But what we want Mark to be able to do is to be able to delete files or folders within that folder. So we're gonna give him modify permission and we click modify. Be careful how you give full control because full control has ultimate permission over whatever you give the person. Many times a person does not necessarily need full control. Okay, we have given mark modify and we want to click apply and we want to click okay. And we want to click okay another time to close that box so that mark now has permission to modify that folder or file meaning he can delete what we want to do now is to rename the finance folder we're going to right click on finance click on rename and we're going to call the finance folder finance users and simple to rename a folder our last task here is we want to scan that sales folder and to scan in windows 10 we have windows defender on all we need to do is to right click the folder and say scan with windows defender and you can do a quick scan a full scan or you can do a custom scan to do a, a quick scan we simply need to click on scan now and windows defender will scan the information on your folder you can do custom scan which means that you can scan your usb drive you can scan one drive at a time you can scan the complete system drive when the scan is complete you will see that complete will appear on the windows defender page showing you how many files have been scanned showing you the start time and the amount of time that has elapsed okay so I'm going to expect you to do this lab on this Windows 10 virtual machine on TechNet. And we're going to close the session at this time. And we want to thank you for listening.